about that because I really wanted y'all to see this. Um, anyway, my what I want to talk about is the, the, the globalization of Freemasonry. The globalization of Freemasonry. First of all, um, nobody would be here, Houston, Texas, 2019, uh, today at this assembly if it were not for Honorable Hudson B. Turner. That historic trip in 1965, where they went to Beirut, Lebanon, was historical. It changed the, the landscape on the way the non-mainstream Masons were looked at globally. And so, because he traveled, and because E.M. Hunter traveled, in which that was his grandmaster, that sparked Western Jarvis to travel. And because Western Jarvis traveled and was allowed to do some things, that put me as one of the co-founders of Soya. And so from that, nine years later, we are here, right? So I'm talking about the globalization of Freemasonry. By Western Jarvis, under and President Ad Vitam, co-founder of Soldier. Globalization, the process by which businesses or other organizations develop international influence or start operations on an international scale. And the President was talking about a treaty. Most people don't know what treaties are. A lot of Masons don't know what treaties are. So, a treaty is a formal, formally concluded and ratified agreement between two countries. Really. So, you don't have to, and we do, do treaties from state to state. You don't have to. The truth of the matter is, if you're part of this organization and you've been accepted, then you automatically in a treaty with the other groups and organizations. You be real. You're gonna get educated. <coughs> um, there's also a term called an accord. Anybody ever heard of an accord? An accord gives or grants someone power, status, or recognition. So, in other words, when I say I recognize you, it's not a treaty that I'm recognizing you with. It's an accord. Because this is a, it's, a, it's an agreement. So that's why when we uh, were part of the Mother High Council of the World, the Masonic High Council, and a group that a lot of us that organized Sogia come from, they had the uh, Accord of Paris. Because a lot of the, the, the countries met in Paris and they done an accord. What is recognition? You hear a lot about that, right? You hear a lot about recognition. Well, you're not recognized by the UGLE. So if you're not recognized by the UGLE, I can't recognize you. Well, if somebody else has to tell you to recognize me, then that means you're not sovereign. That's true. That's it. <laughs> you're not sovereign if you got to ask daddy <coughs> For you to recognize me. So recognition is identification of someone or something or person from previous encounters or knowledge. In other words, you have knowledge of Western Jarvis. You probably never met me. We probably never had a previous encounter like we are now. But you got knowledge of me. So you can recognize me. Right? <clears throat> Recognition is uh, in the eye of the beholder. Another term that I want to talk about, and by the way, this is going to be in my book, colonization. The action or process of settling among and establishing control over the indigenous people of an area. And that's what Freemasonry is in a lot of our countries. That's the way we treat Freemasonry as a colony, colonization. But Freemasonry is not colonization. It's not colonial. It's global.
Freemasonry has always been global. That's why we have multiple grand lodges from different countries and our jurisdictions represented here. That's the basis of soul, was for us to be uh, 